In the last video, I explained how you can export data from a Podio app into an Excel spreadsheet. In this video, I'm going to explain the opposite, how you can import data that's already in an Excel spreadsheet into a Podio app. So in the last video, we were in the demo workspace and we exported eight rows of data from the Leads and Clients app. Well, in this video, I've moved over to the Sales workspace and I've actually installed the same Leads and Clients app that we used in the demo workspace. But if you look at my screen, you'll notice that there is no data in this app right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to import the same data that we exported in the last video. Now, before we do this, it's important to note that when you are importing data into Podio, you need to make sure that the app you're importing into has all of the same fields that you have in your Excel spreadsheet. So for example, if I go to my Excel spreadsheet, you'll notice that I have these fields created on, created by, company name, contact details, etc. If I'm going to import this data, I need to make sure that the app I'm importing to, in this example leads and clients, has all of these fields. Now because it's the same app that I exported from in the last video, I know that all of these fields are already in there. So I don't need to modify this app or create a new one. But for your situation, you might actually have to create a custom app or modify an already existing app. And if you have to do that, go ahead and skip ahead to the appropriate section in this video series. But for this video, I know I'm all set, my data fields match up, so I can go ahead and I can import this data. So I'm going to go back to Podio, and I'm going to go to the right side of my screen to the wrench icon. I'm going to click on it so the drop-down list appears, and in this example, I'm going to click Excel Import. Now when I do that, it's going to take me to a screen asking where my Excel file is, and it also explains what I just mentioned to you, that you need to make sure your Excel columns match up with your Podio fields. And we already know that they match up, so we can go ahead and we can choose our Excel file. I'm going to choose the file from my computer, and it's on my desktop leads and clients.xlsx. So once I'm ready, I can hit open, and it's going to take me to a new screen here in Podio. And on the left side of my screen, I have all of the fields in my Excel spreadsheet listed, and then on the right side of my screen, I have all the fields within my Podio app listed. So now I need to click and drag the fields from the left to the corresponding field on the right. So as you can see, the first field on the right is company name, and I have a field called company name in my Excel spreadsheet. So I can just click and drag this over. You'll notice when I do that, company name is now grayed out on the left side of my screen telling me that I've already matched up that field, so I don't need to do it again. Now in the next field in my leads and clients app, you'll notice that there's no space to drag over any data. That's because this is an expandable section of data. So if I click on contact details, a whole bunch of fields pop down, and now I have a place to drag over my contact details name that I have over here on the left. So I'll drag that over. You'll notice that there are some fields on the right that don't have a corresponding field on the left. And that just means that for the email portion of my contact details in my XLSX sheet, there aren't any email addresses listed. So if you have some fields on the right that don't get filled in, that's okay. You can fill them in later on in Podio, or you can just fill them in when you create a new item here in Podio. But it basically just means that this data doesn't exist in my spreadsheet, and that's okay. It's fine having more data in my app in Podio than I have in my spreadsheet. Now, if I had rows over here on the left that don't match up with rows on the right, I would probably have to modify this app. So now I'm just going to go through and match up all of my fields. You'll notice that I still have two fields on the left side of my screen that don't match up with my Leads and Clients app on the right. And that's because this data was not exported when I exported my data from Podio originally. If I wanted to, I could go back in and I could modify the Leads and Clients app to include these fields. However, for this example, I'm not worried on the created on and created by fields. So I'm just going to go down here to the bottom right and I'm going to click preview to see an example of what my data will look like when imported. You'll notice that a preview pops up. I have my company name, my contact details, sales agent, etc. Everything looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead and click close. And now I can click the green next button on the bottom right of my screen. When I do that, a box pops up explaining what duplication handling is in Podio. Basically what that is, is 
When you import data, Podio will look for duplicates, duplicate data entries, so that it's not uploading the same data entry twice. Now this can be very helpful, but it can also be harmful to your information as well. So if we hit continue, you can go ahead and read through this on your own. But if we hit continue, it's going to take us to the next screen. And this is the last screen before we actually import this data. And you'll notice that on the right side of my screen, there's these little plus symbols. And next to company name, that symbol is dark gray. And it's saying that items and leads and clients will be updated if the following fields are identical, company name. So that means that if two of my data entries have the same company name, it's going to only import one of them, which I don't want to happen. I might have multiple leads and clients from the same company. So to avoid that, I'm just going to click on this gray box to the right. And you'll notice that it says no existing items and leads and clients will be updated. That's what I want. If we look down, it's telling me that the same thing will happen with contacts. Well, I probably don't have to worry about this. I probably only have one entry per contact in my data, but if I'm worried, I would uncheck this box as well. And then down here with sales agent, my sales agent can have as many leads and clients as they want, so I definitely don't want Podio to delete duplicate entries of my sales agent name, so I'm going to uncheck that as well. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and click import eight rows. It will take me back to the Leads and Clients app here in Podio. You'll notice that I'm still in the sales workspace. We didn't have any data in here before, but now we have the eight rows that we exported before and all of the information as it appeared before we imported it. So that's how you can import data into Podio. Again, if you are importing data into an app that doesn't have corresponding fields, you're either going to have to create a custom app or modify an already existing app, which will be covered completely later on in this video series.